Singapore, a small country with a population of only 5.5 million people, and yet it's the 12th largest pharmaceutical producer in the world with a very dynamic growth. For instance, Singapore's pharmaceutical industry grew by 10% on average annually over the period of 2010-2015. Consequently, many global pharmaceutical producers decided to establish their manufacturing or research and development base in Singapore. For instance, there are more than 30 companies from global producers that have their presence in research and development. Companies like Eli Lilly uh, and Glasgow Schmidt Ryan. Other companies have their manufacturing facilities like Pfizer, Sanofi, and Abbott. If the example is taken from more recent investments, Tuga Pharmaceuticals from Japan allocated almost 335 US dollars to expand their operational capacity in Singapore. So the question is then, why Singapore is so attractive for global pharmaceutical producers? Well, firstly, Singapore has very highly developed physical and regulatory infrastructure, a skilled labor force, and I think most importantly, easy access to Asian markets. Secondly, Singapore has already a reputation of high quality clinical trials and uh, clinical research management in Asia. Thirdly, Singapore's government provides continuous, strong financial support for infrastructural and research and development projects. For instance, uh, government recently allocated almost 16.1 billion Singapore dollars for various infrastructural, research and development and enterprise projects. Finally, Singapore has very good business environment in general, a feature that is very often lacking in developing Asian Pacific countries. Uh, so, as a result, although Singapore's pharmaceutical industry is facing sluggish economic demand both domestically and in export destination countries, your mantra international expects Singapore to remain leading mediator between Western companies and Asia-Pacific markets.